Pacific coast of Costa Rica offers a wide range of highlights that define the country as a dream destination. From green jungles with waterfalls and raging rivers, to numerous beautiful beaches and an enormous variety of wildlife. In this video, I introduce you to the best places to visit in this part of Costa Rica. During my four-week lasting trip through Costa Rica, I spent the majority of my time in this part of the country. After joining an active tour that focused on rafting, hiking and local living, I got to explore the Pacific coast from Santa Teresa all the way down to Uvita independently. Besides surfing, I used my time to visit a few national parks along the way and enjoyed the tranquil atmosphere in the smaller beach villages a bit off the tourist route. Let's start this list off with one of the most popular destinations on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. In the past few years, this small beach town on the Nicoya Peninsula developed into a true hotspot for surfers, yogis and beach lovers from all around the world due to its wide beaches with several consistent surf spots as well as its relaxed atmosphere. Despite the fact that Santa Teresa is only accessible via a bumpy dirt road, its growing popularity led to a great touristic infrastructure and variety. If you want to combine surfing or yoga with good food in a laid-back environment, Santa Teresa might just be the perfect place for you. If you plan on visiting the Nicoya Peninsula, chances are high that you pass through Montezuma at some point. But the area around Montezuma is definitely worth a visit as well, with the nearby Montezuma waterfalls, hanging jungle bridges and the high chances of spotting dolphins or even whales on a boat tour. Another great thing to do is renting an ATV to explore the area all the way down to Malpais. So, if you want to spend some time in a quieter place to truly unwind, in combination with some shorter tours, Montezuma is worth considering. Listed as one of the most beautiful national parks in the world by Forbes, the Manuel Antonio National Park for sure is one of the places you have to visit on the Pacific coast. In contrast to other national parks in the country, chances are high that you are able to spot almost all kinds of domestic animals here. The diversity of wildlife is unequaled, making it the most visited national park in all of Costa Rica. In order to make the most out of your time, I highly recommend hiring a local guide, as they know the park well and can easily spot monkeys, sloths or reptiles, which are hard to find for the untrained eye. Keep in mind to respect the rules of the national park to keep your eco footprint as small as possible. The next spot on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica is a bit more remote than the previous destinations. Recently, Dominical attracted more and more active travelers who are in search of good surf, and rafting spots, resulting in a growing number of restaurants, bars and accommodation options. While the beach of Dominical is mostly suited for intermediate and experienced surfers, the smaller Dominicalito beach offers great conditions for beginners. The Savegre River, which meets the ocean right next to Dominical, is one of the best spots for rafting adventures, with rapids up to class 4. I spent about a week in this charming little village and enjoyed days full of surf, good food and relaxation by the pool. If you want to know where I stayed or which hostels and hotels I'm recommending in each of the spots mentioned, make sure to head over to my blog, where you can find a comprehensive guide. The link can be found in the info box below this video. Uvita is another less touristy beach village I can highly recommend visiting on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. Located just a 15 minute drive south of Dominical, this is the place where you have a great chance to spot whales. The Ballena Marine National Park is the most important marine national park of the country to protect humpback whales and other rare sea creatures. Your chance of spotting humpback whales are best from December to April when they come to breed down here, as well as from August to October. You can book whale watching tours right in town. Please make sure to follow the rules of the national park to help protecting the environment. 
If you want to see more cool things to do in the country, you should watch my Costa Rica documentary next or head over to my channel to explore many more exciting destinations in Latin America. Thanks for watching. Pura Vida.